John Beard, my buddy, shows us how to say hello to romance. And Stephanie Kramer shows us why she's saying goodbye. Tonight was an important one for TV star Stephanie Kramer. It was her last night on the hit show Hunter. It's not easy to leave a hit, but she's got her memories as she tells our Elizabeth Anderson. The show with so much action, you feel like wearing a seatbelt at home. It's sort of that dirty hairy approach to law and order. Works for me. It may work for Fred Dreyer, but not for the critics. Once they called the former NFL pro a walking cliche in a criminally bad show. Hunter has become the highest rated police show in syndication. They even love it in China. Mystifying, even to Kramer. I don't know. <laughs> I think that the only thing that made, I think the only thing that made this show different from uh, other police format programs was the relationship between the two characters, Hunter and McCall, and the so-called chemistry that they had together, the repertoire back and forth. What happens, though, when half the show's success leaves? Not in a hail of gunfire, but with a walk down the aisle. What I'm doing is uh, focusing the bulk of my creative energies into my music career. To do it, Kramer is leaving the show. This is not a mistake. This is absolutely right. But the TV life Kramer left behind is far from over. Fred Dreyer, now executive co-producer, is looking for a new co-star and a new start. NBC has renewed one of its most unexpected success stories, Hunter. In Los Angeles, Elizabeth Anderson.